Hello friends. Hope you're doing good. Yeah. Just charging my system. So happy to learn together. And today we're going to see some discussion points about system allies in Audata servers. Let's get into the slide. So the general understanding of system allies is it determines which backend system to be called. Very simple. Okay. Um, sometimes if you have only one ECC or backend system, then only one system allies. If it is a multiple, you will have a multiple system allies. Depends on the UI request. We are going to get the data from a different backend system. So this is a basic understanding about system allies. So we'll see what uh, kind of uh, discussion points or questions may come under the system allies. Hope I tried my level best. So the first uh, question could be define system allies. So based on your um, idea or understanding of system allies, just give whatever answer best for you. So system allies is basically uh, it's like uh, getting the inbound request from a SAP, sorry, from a UI request to the SAP gateway system. And it can be a remote or a local system depends on the design of your system allies. Uh, it can be um, get the data from the local instance itself or it can go to the different system backend system and get the data depends on the business design. So this call can be taken. And once the system allies is assigned to our data servers and that determines uh, whether the SAP gateway has to be routed to the uh, corresponding backend system. This, uh, this statement is true if you have a multiple backend systems. Okay. Then system allies is a place it, it has to determine which one to be called, but the request to be made from the UI. And what happens if the system allies is local? Some scenarios we have to get the data from the local uh, or other way, or, or, sorry, the other way. Um, sometimes we don't want to go to the gateway server and we're creating some more data service in the backend system on top of the backend system itself using gateway service. In that case, our OData service system allies is local. So uh, the UI is all directly pointing to the gateway service of our ECC or backend system. So system allies is also a local to get the data. Okay. So that is the um, answer for this uh, question. What happened in system allies is local. So if it is a local DW instance, so it means system is responsible for processing. It could be uh, anything it's not only get it it can be a managing or storing it's a curd operation right basically so that can be uh, done in the local system itself it could be a gateway server system or it could be easy sometimes very rare we have a very simple application uh, maybe with the, all the custom data that can be built in the gateway server itself and uh, the application is always communicating with the gateway server then if it is a local it go and get the data from the gateway server system itself and how to transport a system allies? Mostly you will get a pop up once you save your system allies details. Sometimes it's not. Then what you can do is uh, you can just delete and recreate your system allies. Then automatically the transport window pop ups, you can do it. Otherwise, um, mostly 90% this will work. If not, manually you can get the details uh, from a table called CMGDEAM and fill fill your uh, transport request go to the properties and you have to fill what is the type of this once you fill it automatically is added into a transport request then you can move those things to your quality system so it's, it's advisable always go with the transport request for the system allies don't create manually in in a target system either quality or production and the system allies supports multi-origin concept in our data service definitely is yes. so multi-origin is nothing but uh, we have uh, different backend systems and how this multi-origin concept is, works depends on the system allies only okay. and what happens if the user role and host name field are empty in the system allies normally in system allies we have an option called user role and host name uh, if it is a single or if it is open for the user, normally we won't fill it. But if you fill it, then automatically that system allies allows only particular uh, user which has a role and the same for the host name also. If it is empty, it's open call. 
okay if you, the question is if both are empty what happens it's just open so this setting is valid for all the roles and all the host names right if there's a system allies maintain without any role assignment then it is used for all the users and if the user has multiple roles and assigned to a different system allies what happens with the below scenario so that is a user it assigned it has the user has multiple roles and the roles is assigned with the multiple system allies so uh, the scenario is what happens for the below scenario there are two system allies and one is marked as default so there are two system allies and the user different roles are assigned to both uh, system allies but only one is maintained as a default so here it automatically picked the default one in another scenario same scenario is like more than one system allies is found and it's either one of the system is not a system allies or is not mapped as a flag as a default also in that case what happens it gives an error okay so these are the combinations of uh, if the user has multiple multiple roles or assigned to a different system allies so the next is define trusted and non-trusted rfc connections so I have a video on this about system, trusted and non-trusted. Uh, the topic could be the system allies and authorization checks for our data servers. Okay. So the overall idea about trusted and non-trusted. So it's like trusted connection is it requires an authorization check. So the technically we mentioned trust relationship is no. What happens is it need an authorization check. It not allow. Uh, it's like it's not allow all. The, the, sorry, it's not allow the request from all the users it has a uh, proper authorization check a proper role and uh, to be assigned to the user only those can able to access the data from your backend system so that is called trusted connection and non-trusted is open for everyone so if it is a non-trusted connection your option is trust relationship is yes so whatever or whoever comes along with the user sorry along with the ui service just allow them and go and get the data from the ECC. So normally non-trusted connection we use from the development side, but once it is ready and move to quality, preferable or recommended is go with the uh, trusted connection only. Okay. So this is about trusted and non-trusted. Okay. And yeah, that's it about the system allies, which I gathered. Uh, just go through it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. And if, you come across some things to be added just point out in the comments at least it will be helpful for other people and if we uh, if i figure out something else definitely i will make a video and post it here okay thank you so much for your time see you in the next video